fine up whatever ladies and gentlemen this is part one of elion uh it is an mmo that i really don't know too much about right now this is the closed beta uh the second one there was a first one i believe like seven months ago or something like that i uh, it just popped up on my radar recently a bunch of streamers doing sponsored segments over the last two days um and then i they are also doing twitch drops for it so that's how i got access to it otherwise though i i know nothing other than like the main classes and the very very little that i saw from the uh the first closed beta so with that we're gonna jump straight into this and see how this goes so this is as far as i've gotten so far <laughs> there's a game graphic style which is pretty cool you have no filter default high saturation cheerful and intense which it looks like it just like bumps up like coloring and things like that so i think i'm gonna go with the default hit apply then you have select the desired realms the two realms are enemies once a realm is selected you cannot create a character in the other realm Hmm. Recommended realm is this. The Vulpin. So. Alright, we're gonna have to read this because I don't know the difference between obviously you have red versus blue. But like, I don't know what it actually does. So Descendants of the New Kingdom motivated by motivated by honor and great cause, Vulpin Parliament, the faction. Faction formed by those who dream of the righteous and honorable solemn kingdom's revival. Vulpin, who encourages protecting the weak and combating injustice as the noble acts, yearns to see the solemn kingdom thrive. The parliament rules over southern hearth from the distinguished authority of the state senate. Strives to punish the Ontari Union, a group of rebels, in order to restore peace and order to hearth. As such, it is critical that the obtains the ultimate power which lies beyond Elyon. The thought of Ontari reaching Elyon before Vulpin is sim simply inconceivable. If you understand honor and justice, then you are welcome to join the ranks of Vulpin and reassert justice on in Earth. Okay. <clears throat> then there's... I think there's music for each side. You obviously have good guys happy music like dun, 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 dun. join the battle soldier help us fight the Ontari and then you have we will destroy the Vulpins they will die very intense like more not so happy uh, music the Ontari Union is con Congression Congre congregation of up-and-coming factions that refute the reign of the solemn kingdom practical and reasonable Ontario wishes to forge a new hearth in the their image leading to the northern hearth with the immense charisma of the vision federal agency Ontario seeks to drive out the Vulpin parliament at the complete dictators of hearth and start a new chapter in hearth's history to accomplish this Ontari must claim the ultimate power that rests beyond Elyon never be able to get across Elyon together if you're wise and rational you will be you will, you are welcome to join the Antari flag and help bring dawn of a new era yeah the logo I mean the logos are pretty cool on both sides why is it recommend this realm you cannot create a character in the other realm once it's selected I'm assuming until you change servers let's try Antari uh wait i'm nervous now Ari or vulpin i'm googling it i'm googling it uh elion let's see 
I mean, obviously, at the end of the day, make your own choice. I'm also going to check something else, too. Um, all right, yeah, let's go with let's go with Untari. What difference is it going to make, yeah? Well, that should be a huge difference. They recommend it. I wonder if they're recommending the other one because maybe so many people are choosing Antari. So they're like, hey, do this instead. Because otherwise, there's not going to be a balance. Let's do 120. Now, I don't know if this is the type of game where I'll use my MMO mouse, but I'm ready to do it. So, let us see what we have here. We have six classes. Slayer. Your Slayer. Your Warlord. Your Elementist. Elementalist. Elementist? Yeah, Elementalist. Mystic. And Assassin. Which looks pretty cool. And a Gunner. I mean, honestly, they all look pretty cool. Let's see. So... Attack speed, range, defense, secondary. So I probably won't go Slayer or Warlord. If anything, it's like these four. And Gunner is like the closest to Ranger. Elementalist, uh, gift of magic powers, uncover the secrets and unstable elements. I know you can use multiple elements for this class. Mystic. There's no, it doesn't look like there's any uh, race lock too, which is good. An orc assassin. <laughs> How about we got Dritz? There you go. An assassin elf. They all look cool. I'm gonna try out Gunner. Seems interesting. It's like seems well balanced. You got high attack, high speed, range, defense, and your secondary. Now the question is, what type of uh, race am I gonna go? So you have your elf, got an Ian, which I think these are the <laughs> they're like little panda thing, like panda. Animal, it's like bio mutant put into this game, basically. <laughs> I can't, I can't go as that. An orc gunner would be cool though. I feel like everybody goes human. So like I've been trying to to keep the the mind of like instead of just playing a human in a game like everybody else. Like yeah, playing as human looks cool. Like this dude, this dude looks like 
sick in itself. But like, how often do you see an orc gunner? So, I think I might. I might. Orcs are often misunderstood as barbaric race due to their belligerence combi combative nature. However, one would be mistaken to believe that orcs are hooligans who mistreat others and look down on the weak. Though in truth, they are mostly value achieving things through owned muscle. Machinery and technology of hearth have diminished the importance of physical labor, but they will never be come a time where an orc's combat skills and brute uh, force will lose their value. Yeah, what's going on, Ben? This is a new MMO. Um, it's called Elyon, and I'm just creating my character right now. So we're going to do this. We're going to do an, an orc gunner. Select. Now you've got a bunch of presets here. Let's see. Which one do I like the math the most? Huh. I like the second one, me too. But I think I'm gonna change a few things up. So let's see. Let's start with the default of this. Let's go hair. Ah, beautiful. Beautiful, right there. Perfect. Alright, let's take, change the black hair. Of course. And then... Probably go with like Let's go with this one. Is that supposed to be you as an orc? Looks like me. <laughs> yeah, right. Ah, beautiful. I'm just glad you can actually put facial hair on them. That's cool. <laughs> Alright, yeah, I'm down with it. You're missing the beard, though. Well, not anymore. Not anymore. There you go. Yeah, we're definitely doing that. Alright, let's see. Apparently, you can, like, click and drag things here, too, which is crazy. So, like, if I wanted to, like, I don't know, chin. Like, look at that. All these areas highlighting, you can click and drag them. I'm probably going to stick with a lot of the defaults, though. Go with this one. It's like the basic one. Eyes. You get to choose the the pupils. Huh. He's constantly looking into a green. Do uh, you see that? Oh, I do. I see that too. He's constantly looking into a ring light. Oh, this is eye reflection. Iris source. Oh. Gotta go with my green. Might go with like these.
<laughs> Cyberpunk could never. Iris Light Source. That looks kind of cool so far. Makeup and brows. Well, that's if you have makeup on, I guess. Mouth. Ah, beautiful. Nah, I'm good. Good on that. Wait, what about black? What does black look like? <laughs> Body and height size. All right, we got a head size. Massive head. Whoops, what did I just do? Body size. Let's do 70. Oh, dude, you can do like a whole length. Thickness. Neck thickness. Forearms. Hand size. You gotta make sure this guy looks like he does leg day. Shoulder width. What size? Calf size. That. Never skip leg day. Exactly. Yeah, he's got calves. Look at them. Look at them. Boom. I think that might be good. Good enough for me. Tattoos. All right. Let's see what we got here. Um, can I see him without the... How do I remove outfit? Boom. Aha. The tattoos look very low quality, but not bad. Some of these are bright. I don't know if you can change the color at all. Like the other one. I think this one's cool. That one's cool too goes up his neck and like onto his face this one or this i like this one. Oh, he actually has something right here the quality on the tattoos are very low grade but this one reminds me of uh i have a character in elder scrolls online that has like tattoos like that all over his body it's a skin though the one without the face both of these have face. This one has a face too. Yeah, I think both of them have face stuff. I go with this one. This one's cool. Too though. That's like um it's like the rocks tattoos. Actually, I might st I might do this one. Is this one like, yeah, it goes up here, but it's like, I don't know, pieced apart. I mean, how many times are you going to see his shoulders? But still, I'm going to go with this one. Voice. 
I don't know. I think that's it right there. Prime Alpha one, Alpha two, Alpha three, Alpha four, Alpha five. Ah, beautiful. Going to school. Hey, there you go. That's that's cool too. All right, I think. This is it. Character name. Boom. I think that's good. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, Elyon. Oh, <laughs> so it puts us into uh, like this type of screen. Let's load in then. Here we go. See, I wouldn't mind making like a two handed like war hammer type character or like a giant sword but i'm never much of like a i uh, a melee person but i don't know it could be cool the only game i've ever really been like a melee person is star wars the old republic and that's because you have lightsabers so you have to play as them because like they they are cool but i don't know We'll see though. So I have this game on an external hard drive. Um, and I'm hoping that's not what I'm hoping the first time starting it up, just that taking a while was kind of itself configuring itself. So if it does like load really slow and if I continue to play this and I'll probably move it onto my hard drive uh, or like my internal one because it's only like 30 gigabytes, but I was nervous that it was gonna be like 50 or 60 or 70. We finally opened the gate. Here we go. And the inventors depart to reach for the hope beyond Elyon. However, our path led not to hope, but despair. By despair. We battled bravely to defend the Inventus, only to fall, helpless against an endless swarm of enemies. Now, the last hope to save the Inventus is you. Closed beta 2 is the, that's what CBT2 is. Elyon is the game. E-L-Y-O-N. Cassis Clay TV, are you all right? <laughs> so it's Elyon CBT2. 
for a lot of titles right now. <laughs> what on earth happened? Gather your wits and a hold of your surrounding. Press F to talk to her. Heavens, what could this heinous mechanical device be? Right now, I think what? it is. Can you move? Hector and I were sent by our ruler, Nashar, to save you. I don't know who these enemies are, but the Ark Inventus will sink at this rate. Okay. Uh, you obtained a faded Vizen house rifle. I need to turn down the, uh, music. So how do we fire? Equip, equip. Use, uh, one second. Go to settings. I forgot that my volume was at, uh, like 30% during the entire cutscene and music and cra character creation. Maybe like 45. There's a lot of options. Gift box. Let me open up my gifts. Whoa. <laughs> We've got a bunch of stuff already. I saw, oh, we have a mount. Can't ride a mount in this region. All right, let's figure that out later. Use left shift to slip past the alarm. Press W shift to evade. Evaded, level up. There's a lot going on. I'm like trying to figure it out. Oddly enough, this opening reminds me of Warframe. I can see that. I've been wanting to actually kind of retry uh, Remove shock to get away. Press spacebar to get out of it. I've been wanting to try out Warframe again. I don't have a moment to lose. Please go to the Inventus first. I'm okay. I'll be able to move again after a short rest. Please. All right. That's pretty cool. level uh four already so left control is your sprint which is interesting for a uh a sprint option but i mean i guess it does work so since shift is your uh shift is the dodge ability i mean like they could be swapped though so relieved you're all right. But what about Lilith? Where is she? She's downstairs. She trap? But for what it's worth, I've been making myself useful. These thugs call themselves the ah. Dark Apostles. A tattoo is getting itchy. Countless people will be put at risk unless we make this save our ark. Save the Aventus. I didn't realize I have a new ability. Press K to learn new skill. Uh, zero attributes. Auto register skills. Yes. Learn skill. 
I pressed K. Oh, right here. Okay, so now we have a grenade ability too. ability how do you okay there we go sweet so left control or left alt you can actually see uh what your abilities do that's nice so when you scroll in and out it also increases the height of your abilities uh or your camera so it's not like you have to like angle it you can still look at it straight on but it also like when you zoom out it doesn't just zoom out down it actually increases the height too that monster you're going down today skull hound Got him. By the enemy. If anyone is listening to this, you must come to the tree of Sephiroth at once. Use the portal. You're going in. Most likely would be a PC exclusive, but the developers made Terra, which is on console. Hopefully in the future, this game comes to consoles. That's cool. Is this free, by the way? I believe this is a pay a paid game so just off the bat it's not free to play so i'm hoping if it does turn out to be good that hey maybe it will be good we'll see though uh the the develop or this closed beta though is free so actually if if you're watching well since you're watching right now anybody that's watching after i think it's like an hour you actually get a key to play the closed beta uh or an invite for it too so yeah closed beta 2 is so this is the beta right now this is the second beta um so this isn't isn't the final game the final game comes out in i think like five weeks or four weeks sleepy sex excuse me all good man <laughs> I think I, I shouldn't have put this game on my external hard drive because it's taking a bit to load here. Unless if it's, it might be loading the full open world too though. So. Spark of hope. Receive reward. Go to the tree of Seroth. Ariha. Fortunately, it looks like the rescue operation was a success. I need to turn up like the uh, voice volume. Environmental sounds. We'll leave that at like 50. Same thing.
I don't see how this is the dark side seems chill so far. I think this is just the tutorial. It might, it might be like a different home world or something, maybe. <laughs> just looking at what options we have here. Everything seems to be on very high. Man, I forgot my email to my Svotor account. Really? Oof. I don't know why all the, um... I don't like how the names are green over the heads. It's, like, hard to read. Hard to read. I wonder if there's a way you can change that. I'd rather it be, like, white. For players' heads, too. I think it would be under UI, but I don't see a way of changing it. All right, whatever. I uh, use the artifacts, key items from the this thing, assuming. Oh God. I can't even see like this too with the egg. Everything's like s s extremely transparent. So it's like hard to see. Use the family artifact from the key items of the inventory. Press I. Key items. There we go. After move security key since I moved to Steam, but the authenticator app somehow messed up my new phone. Oh, that's always fun having to deal with that stuff. Removing a security key and then add it back on and stuff. That's a pain. You can't ride a mount in this region. I have a giant cat mount. The Arcana has been safely absorbed into the Ark. I'll assemble the rest of the troops. Don't forget. Okay. Defeat the horde. Talk to Aventus, elite trooper. Aventus, elite trooper. We received communications informing us of the situation. Why are they still so quiet? But the vanguard has cleared a path. There's a soul. Please, voices louder. Give me loud voices. NPC voice. 
Sound effects. Environmental sounds. Music. I'm just going to move it down to high. See if we get a little bit better frames. It's right now it's on highest. What's the master set set to in this game? What you, uh, the master was at like now it's at 60. It was lower. It was at like 40 or so. Let me know if the game audio, like the shooting and are stuff, you here is to too save loud. The children? That should be better though. But there are too many dark apostles trying to push through right now. So glad to hear the children are okay. Now, Rhea Este just learn skill. Nice, we have a new thing. We also got some new armor. It should make it like middle mouse button as another sprint ability. One sec, let me see if I can. Chat tab settings. System. Turn off system. Ah, uh, whatever, I'll leave it for now. Use the stairs on the right to go up. Ooh, uh, I like arrows that tell me where to go. <laughs> Is this the end? Oh, no. You're, you're the enemies that cover me. I'll. It is not the end. Wait, does that wind up? Why does it keep telling me you can't use skills? Thanks to your help, bang, bang, we'll bang. be able to take a load <laughs> off for a while. I must go install a barrier on the upper deck. Find Silas Vissen. Silas Vissen. I will, I will. Now, which way do I need to go? That's the real question. Dark opponents pushing through to the White Citadel. Too many to count. We need reinforcements now. Ah! 
Jump. Silas, I need you. I need you now. Hey, you're finally here. Hey, you're finally awake. If we don't defeat the Dark Apostle Corus, Bro, are you good? <laughs> oh, God. How dare these worms? Something worms. I had heard of the Dark Apostles converting living things into machines, but I had no idea what things had died down here. Rhea Este is- The defensive forces are far outnumbered, and the Dark Apostles funny. are keeping us from conjuring a barrier. <laughs> Send reinforcements to the upper deck immediately. Immediately. Holy, what? That map is insane. <laughs> what did I just do? Run! I'm asking in game what is the uh in game skills thing. So Silas, you came. How's keto? But I haven't really been fully been doing keto at all. I'm trying to no do something to this rate. that's more along the, the lines of low carbs. Not so I don't know. I'm also kind of like at the point where like not a valid point. Oh, yes, I am I have been actually going to the gym. So and I've been eating more protein. I uh, I've been trying to uh, be a little bit more conscious on like how much I'm eating like throughout the day and stuff. So like during the week, I'm fine. It's just the weekends where I have to make sure I keep myself in check. But I have been getting the gym, uh, hitting the gym, like actually. I did legs the other week. I did, uh, or like last week, I did chest, legs, shoulders. I need to do back and biceps again. I did shoulders yesterday, actually.
Yeah, it's coming up quick. That's pretty loud now. I don't know if I accidentally turned it up. Yeah, it is almost here. Well, damn. I'm guessing this is the actual open world that it's about to throw us into. But yeah, the thing I'm most excited for actually is for when we do have our own place, um, like we'll be making our own food and everything. So it's not like we're buying our own stuff. So right now I live with my family. So like when they get stuff like that's where I fall into it. So like, oh, well now they got this. So eh, what is a little bit of this going to do? But if you're just not buying it and you have full control over what you buy, then yeah, saves money and it'll keep it in mod moderation. So I, th I think honestly, that's when it's going to be like hit me the most like in a in a good way because now it's like okay everything that i buy like it either has to be used or like i well yeah basically has to be used so plus i can start building out my gym again in the basement um so i think that's where it's actually going to like kind of that's where i'm going to shine And then if I, it's going to take a while to build up a gym, probably a few years, um, but I'm slowly going to buy stuff and build one out in my basement, which I already have like a good amount of stuff. I just need more weights, a squat rack, some sort of pulley system, uh, and then more weights, but more weight, the more weights part is the most expensive thing. So yeah, it's actually. Technically, if you add in the basement four, because you have the first floor, second floor, there's an attic, uh, and then there's the basement. Yeah, that's not technically that's my my house I live in right now is um three technically because there's not really an addict or an attic okay yeah we're floating Floating to the earth or to the ground. Nice. After quite some time. <laughs> Puts us into a nice, beautiful world now. Whoa, what the? 
Oh god, we got ambush. What just happened? Who is that? Hi, Carmen. This is a complete mess. Me? I'm a trainee knight of the Grey Mount. I've never heard of you before. Oh. <laughs> you say you're an adventurer from the Unbound. That thing? That just came crashing from this. I yes, just saw you me. fight off those Vulcan soldiers. So you don't strike me as an enemy. First, I need to report that you're here to the senior knight. Here, take this wingsuit. <laughs> It'll be faster. If take this wingsuit? What? Well, how nice of you. Inventory? Is this better than what I'm wearing? No. That is, that is too. Oh, you can see there in a cutscene. Oh, now I'm wearing a hat. <laughs> what the? <laughs> that was funny what the hell is that dude <laughs> it came out of nowhere i had no idea bunnies could fly all right that's pretty cool Oh my god. <laughs> That's funny. Well. <laughs> That's funny. They're all wearing the bunny outfit. I think we actually have that. Yeah, right here. Can only be changed through a pet name change ticket. What is this? Elephant? Rare grade. What should I name the elephant? Uh. Chat. But you have to, ch if you want to change it, you have to change it later. Ellie. Ellie. Uh. Ida. Ida the elephant. Uh, wait, on the elephant. All right, Ida the elephant, sure. Yes. Required. Beautiful. Now I'm matching everybody. <laughs> what the hell, dude? Cat. Elyon. Cat. This thing has rockets on it. <laughs> Element 
Is this BDO 2.0 your mom is? Uh, how do I dismount B? Is B how you mount? Okay, now I need to figure out how do I take off the outfit? Because obviously it's just a, a cover up thing. Challenges gift box. Mailbox party finder. Inventory. Equipment, materials, consumables, other rune stones, keys. That. Glider fishing. Ring. And equip rabbit right click on the style helmet slot. Oh, whoops. Wait. This is paint. <laughs> How do I take off this damn outfit? Uh Achievements and titles. Character details. Maybe it's under here. Cape. Is there like an armor? Inventory. An effect hat. Right click on it to equip the style equipment helmet slot there's so that means there has to be a style equipment slot area divide dismantle sort style equipment Help! Help! I want to take this damn elephant off. <laughs> and I need to figure out how to... Wait, there's... The elephant floats? Oh, it's actually kind of cute. Ida the elephant. I don't think I can give you any advice. <laughs> Too high. It's damn elephant. <laughs> <laughs> How did I take it off, dude? <laughs> Why? Where is it? Oh my god, change style slot. Oh god. Jesus, I found it. Oh my god. Huh. That was funny. Who is this? In still, and it will have to We'll have to. Defeat the main wolf something or other. And we're all the way up here in the gray mountains. Uh, so shift item link. Okay, I see that. Uncommon grade housing token ticket. Token exchange. 
We have a hundred out of a thousand. Mystic? Okay, cool. When you hover over somebody, it actually shows them what uh, they have. Whoops. Skills? Not a, uh, okay, I see. So at level 12, I think you unlock this. Or does it require 12 points? What is all my abilities do? Snare, evade, and attack while throwing a snare at the same time. Okay. I like how it shows you where to go. Attendance. How they have like one of those claim rewards type thing. Ah, damn. Yesterday we could have got that legendary box. New challenges. Collection and books. Register. Firm. What is that? Hey. I got some seals. Uh, so you can hide helmet and stuff hide glasses cool that's nice to know okay um hold on for just a second i'm gonna make a drink real quick because i'm all out as you can see and then we will continue this here so I also need to figure out what the keybind for the pet is, or not the pet, but um, yeah, all of that. So I will be right back, and then we'll continue. So BRB seven. You're already riding another mount. B is to to unequip it. I'm trying to see, is there a um? Before I ask chat, let's do my dil due diligence of looking for I'm looking for the mount keybind. Minimot mail gift box challenge pets. Battle. Okay, it doesn't look like there's any specific other than you put it into an item slot and then you press it like that. So, yeah. Does control? Ah, uh, yeah, it does. Control in one. Trying to see if maybe doing like control one instead would work. But I know control is your sprint. Unless if I make that my middle mouse button. Where is that? Control R. Rocket jump is control space bar. Auto travel is numlock. Okay, yeah, that's the same as like a lot of other games. Um, control F. Sk skills on cooldown. Okay. Trying to see if maybe doing control one. Oh, it looks like you might actually be able to change it. So let's see if I can keybind.
eight. Bye. I'm actually gonna try switching over to this mouth. God. <laughs> Troll. Okay, so now we can do Control 7. No, use that, and then we press that. Whoa, whoa, hold up, hold up. When you mount up, There's an auto travel. I love it. I love it. You're already riding another mount. There's an auto travel between quests. That's sick. I love games that do that. Okay, so now that's all good. Let's see equipment, rune stones. Uh, ten thousand rubies. Okay. Okay. Don't mind me. Required. I love how it says required. Wait, so now we have 10,000 rubies. What can you get in the ruby store then? And control still works for sprinting. Yep. And it still works for that too. Okay. All right. Not bad. Not bad. What was that? I think my, um, The cable for my I'm waiting to hear if it happens again I heard zzz, and I think that's usually the cable between my stream PC going into my gaming PC so I hear the audio might be messed up a bit oh I need tokens oh man You can extract equipment appearance. You can't use skills. Oh, cool. Color required tokens. I don't have any. I'm aching everywhere these days. Uh, what should I eat? Take it easy. should always question everything. Hello. I hope something fun happens. Uh, 
Uh, it's hard, but it's worth it. Sorry, my friend who doesn't really game a lot just texted me. He was like, I just got an Xbox One and I was like, oh God, how much did he pay for? Right. But he said he paid like 250 for the Xbox and trollers, headset, and a few games. So I was like, okay, that's not too bad. Uh, There it is again. Uh, let me check the cable real quick. Hold on one sec. Because it's like buzzing a little bit. It's hard, but it's worth it. Actually travel to this spot, I guess. for the help ah you're the that one looks pretty cool I think i have there will be you can't ride a mount in this region press control b to attack the opposing realm suppose it can't be helped guess we should return to base camp i can't be there for him so you need to help him in my stead. I must apologize for the child. Now, shall we jump right in? Let's do it. Not It's something about the left click. You can't use skills. You can't use skills. You can't use skills. Nice. They look so much bigger than that in the cutscenes. I mean, in the um, the game. Let me see if I change the realm chat. That figure just now, it looked like a vulpin's. This is it's let's head. And it's like. Oh, there's a whole uh, realm only chat.
to dismount. You're here? Well, use the map and I'll explain. It really does remind me of like BDO. Let me see if there is an option for like UI. Play names. Yep, yep, yep. Title, basic, names. That name. This is not a playground. Turn off motion blur. Like Jesus. This will be short, right? <laughs> Where can I find the CBT uh, to access key? If you click on uh, your profile on Twitch. Then go to drops if you got one. Uh, if you're talking about Twitch drops, you'll see here, look, this is what mine looks like right here. So like you open Twitch, you click on your profile up here, this little guy, and you'll see drops right here. If you click on that, you'll see your inventory. And then right in here, if you have one, the CB2, access you'll click on that and then it'll tell you like your uh steam key or whatever if you didn't already connect then you have to click the connect button that'll show up like right here it'll take you to the website and then when you log in it'll show you your steam key and that's pretty much it and then you just redeem that steam key and then you download it and start it up yeah no problem Um, I was trying to see game tab, really? I recommended skills during cooldown. I pop up when sorting. Thank you, Pika. <laughs> Thanks for the file there. Appreciate it. Good old Final Fantasy 14 uh, notification there. Screen shake when using skills. Oh, really? I didn't even realize. Blur, radial blur intensity. Camera, camera vibration. And Just checking all the settings before we move on. Smart clock. Smart clock. I think it's another check in reward. Yeah, 60 minutes, 90 minutes, 120, 150. Okay, uh, let's keep doing whatever quest we need to do. So confirm the location of the summit by pressing map. Is 
like how they integrated how to do that as you know it's what you need there's a conversation with them follow me All right, I'll only help you get it. Okay. Talk to this guy, the equipment merchant. Ah, you look like me. I think I have the same tattoos. If you're done, <laughs> go meet the training instructor. He'll teach you about skill attributes. Receive the signal from Carmen. It's K, learn new skill. We have a boot ability. Why is five locked? Breakthrough secondary equipment. Good to meet you. I'm Nadell, the skill attribute instructor. Uh, My lessons are simple. It's destroyed. You look like the guy in the uh, creation menu. Equip the transcendent rune. Uh, rune stone and a piece of equipment with the rune slot. You can't change equipment during battle. Still in battle. A piece of equipment with the rune slot. What about rune stones? So first you have to put this only equipped. I'm trying. Ah, okay. Okay, so you click on the rune first, then you click on where it's going, I guess. Change the location of the rune stone. First, move the rune stone to the inventory, then equip. It's open. Inventory? Maybe I have to go to my clothing. Ah, manage rune stones. Ah, uh, okay. You go put it there to polish. Okay, I see. I see. Got it. <laughs> I'm like trying to figure I've it out as it goes. Where did any? Let's see the. Oh wait, no, I have to listen, listen to him. Turn an ordinary thing. Assist activates skill attributes and attack again. Still has been changed to the plasma effect. Skill attributes are crucial factors that change the effect of the skill. Now they're great to detail into skills. As you have just seen, skill attributes allow you to enhance a skill's effects or grant it a totally different effect. I'll explain skill attribute points now. You can acquire skill attribute points through runestones of all colors. You can activate skill attributes with skill attribute points you've acquired. Now that you've acquired skill attribute points, let's activate a skill attribute from the skill window. Okay, I see. So now uh, that's how you do these and it change the, changes them up. So if we click on this, that's 20 out of 20, okay. Uncommon grade, common grade. Yeah, 
enables it while moving. Sleep to a target. Okay. Missile. Okay, for that one, you need 25. Okay, I'm gonna do that one. Save current. Because then I can keep using this while moving. That's nice. Did you activate a skill attribute without each skill? It's time to. Yep, yep. Yep, yep. Wind up the tin dummy. Oh, he's not dumb. The skill attribute you just this concludes so Sweet. you were alive after all i almost lost you due to the distortion of time follow my voice okay uh hold on one second i'm gonna move this cable again because i hear it popping every once in a while Replug both of them in. Hit OK here. Test. Love the auto travel. You've reached your destination. You seem to be confused by my sudden call. Worry not, for I am not your enemy. Neither am I. My name is Hadad. The Ark that you once boarded now exists in a different time. I see on that day. I too yearn to travel through Elyon. But with the power I possess, it's impossible. Soon you'll meet a person from the Tigris Consortium named Mimomo. I hope you can match my expectations. Well then, we'll meet again, Seed of the World Tree. Where are you? Get over here already! I'm coming, I'm coming. The XP recovery state. Whoa. You lose XP if you die. Completed a new challenge. Momo. Peace and prosperity to Ark. Ah. Glad to meet you. I'm Momomo, a member of the Tigris Consortium. Our Tigris Consortium is an organization most well known for its archaeological and historical discoveries. Its leader, Naomi Tigris, gathered people who share her ideals, harmony in hearth, and harmony between parties. It may seem silly to use such basic tasks as a guide, but the basics are super important. I wish many blessings to your journey ahead. Requesting backup! Requesting backup! Anyone? Send backup to the transportation 
second unit on the base axis, Ralph. It's the bullpen! The bullpen! Ah, oh. uh, what? I think we have, uh, oh, we have one new skill point. Let's hurry to the access road. Something is. All right, let's go. Let's go. I don't think we've reached a point where we need to use uh, a bunch of the mounts just yet. Thank you. You and that trainee night Carmen really came through for us. Huh? Oh, that's right. It was after we left Dark Cloud Forest. The monster's movements. Now that I talk to Carmen again. The transportation unit that left Dark Cloud Matt this. I must report to my Find and talk to Rahan Delgado. <clears throat> Vulpenar Dark Keep in mind. <laughs> Wonder if it's the game that's causing whatever popping. Want you to go with car I'll admit consider What took you so long? Well, if it's not important, forget it. Why don't we reduce the monster population on our way? We could make my father's work way easier. We have two more of these, jeez. Common grade. wait skills we have three now inventory we have upgrading yeah that's what it is upgradable gear you can kind of see the stuff up in the, and it's kind of nice uh in the top left it's mantle and item I have to buy the game to get the key. I uh, I don't think so. I think the closed beta is free, but you. Um. Hold on. It is something with the game. Not a valid target. Um. No, I don't think so. Cause well, if you have a Twitch account, which you do, obviously, cause you're chatting. Uh, you get a there's a closed beta key that you get from just watching streams right now but after that then you just have to log into your account and when you log in at the bottom you'll see a uh a thing that says um steam key On their website, though. So, once you claim it, go to their website. And when you're in their website, uh, in the area that you, you see, like, your Twitch account and your, uh, and your other thing is linked, at the bottom, there's, like, a little box. And it says Steam Key, and then it says, like, Receive. And when you click on Receive, 
then it'll give you a key and it'll be like steam key and it has all the letters in it that's how I, it worked for me at least Game gets so wild randomly. People called him Rahan, Lion of Lions. The Vulpin hit their tails between their legs and ran when they saw him on the battlefield. I think it's the rockets that I'm hearing buzzing. I'm just now realizing that. He could have remained on the battlefield, but he chose to come all the way out here to the wilderness. I wonder why. Nice, I got my own. I got a key for myself. I love how you can get keys from yourself when you're streaming the same game it's actually pretty cool From Dark Cloud Forest Village. <gasps> Dark Cloud Forest Village. No. to any old <gasps> the dead attacked out of nowhere please help us search the village patrol inside the base
Nice. <sighs> Thank you for your assistance. I think those monsters were the dead. That I think finding Giat is our next priority. Dark cloud forest. Sounds like a nice place. Oh my god. <laughs> nice name. <laughs> oh, you're the Vulpin soldier. Fuck to Giat. Rune stones are maroon. So I know about rune stones and I know a little bit about polishing them too. Take this one. Polish. Do you understand rune app? Yes, I understand. Go to the rune. What is it? I. Uh, rune stones. Great. Does it want me to upgrade it? Damn. 300% XP while hunting for 30 minutes. The heck? Attributes. Now that you've had a look at Rune at Mick now. Ah, uh, so you choose one of these. Increase all the damage. Uh, increase all damage slash healing by 8% after defeating an enemy or handing an enemy with a critical hit. EVP. Huh. Runestone attributes were saved. That's cool. Click dismantle at the bottom of the inventory menu. You're already riding another mount. That mount's pretty cool, too. Mantle. There, but if we can jump, what's taking so long? Do you really need this much? Each time a rune stone's level Get is upgraded, the, the skill attribute, attribute, and the rune attributes of the increase. When the level is that, one of the rune stones will randomly increase. Right click the rune stone, that's yeah, we kind of learned how to do that a little bit or sort. I like how they give you challenges to complete. Other rewards too. 
five points. Collection book, register. Oh. Huh. Are you out of Don't be shy. Return all items register within the collection book. Okay, that's actually kind of cool. So collection items, you get certain stuff. Um, or you get like uh, perks and attributes and I guess it's technically like like the one said that it gives you plus 40 health in a way, so. Like this one, if we confirm this last one, the Fate Rune Stone, then we get max HP increase. Vitality stats, accuracy, dodge. So it's kind of like you're sacrificing that item to get that bonus. That's cool though. Interesting. So the map and I learned a few. Simply put, I don't know how far you She's so quiet every time I talk to her. There are seven quests you can take, press N to travel to. Uh, we have seven abilities now. And we can learn a new skill. Ooh. You reached your destination. Oh, <laughs> just the fellow. I guess. Okay. <laughs> Investigate suspicious blue flowers. so many gunners F. Um, while I'm grinding this real quick, I'm going to run this real quick to turn off the uh, pre-rolls. sick i love that nice 
Nice. Not enough energy. You reached your destination. You reached your destination. Uh, So basically now we have to just continue to level ourselves up from now until the uh, next story mission from what it seems like. destroyed two more. One more. What is this? Oh, there's uh, like PvP. skill got nine just blessed wreath destination investigation point investigate the tombstone Seems like so many of these are uh, a lot of gunners. I don't know if that's like something specific to that or if it's just kind of how it is. You reached your destination.
reached your destination. I'm really just killing all the people that have uh, the green over their head. Need to kill more harpies. You can't use this because you're too far. Got uh, three more we need to kill. Base of fire. Whoa. I think I'd rather have that one then. That's stun. I'm swap those. Oh, we actually have abilities that we can equip too. Once I have 40, then I'll change up and use a common, uncommon one. Looking at, oh, you can actually see the usage of what people, huh. That one's 12. So once I have one more, I should equip this one then. Inventory. You can't change equipment while dashing. Ah, of course. Of course I can't. What level am I?
character details. I'm level 26. What? You're already riding another mount. I love how they come in as like these. <laughs> they can't load in like that. Bro, what? How am I this level already? Item acquisition chance by 10 for 30 minutes. Sort, yes. Buy and sell goods and repair. Cool down, 30 minutes casting time. Okay. Summoning tool, that's cool. Good to know. Receive that. Did I get more gifts? I don't know if you have to log out and back in. Technically, I should have a ruby box of more stuff. Go to, is it collections? I still don't have the, this one? No, it would tell me. Yeah. Okay, one sec. Where was the, I saw that for a second, the ruby shop. Here it is. What do they have in it? I have 12,000. How much is our things work costs? General, studded material, double death XP, restore XP that is lost upon death. I feel like I have a lot for what it is. What? I have 12,000 right now. <laughs> a teddy bear, a cat, white calf, white cat, yellow striped cat, Siamese cat, chick. This product includes an item that cannot be used. This product includes an item that cannot be used. Oh, it's Huzzy Gunner. This product includes an item that cannot be used. Is it the secondary? This product fairy outfit. An item that cannot be used. I can't wear the fairy outfit. This product includes an item that cannot be used. Huh. Interesting. Yes. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. That's funny. That's actually pretty cool. What the heck? Acoustic guitar back accessory. Mount. Why do they give you so many? Wait, like, I'm not reading this wrong, right? I have 12,000 right now. I mean, if I have 12,000 right now... Box that contains... I'm ser I'm curious what this does. And do anything. Beta version, Ruby Shop. Maybe that that's probably why they give you so many. Hey, this I'll uh includes an item I'll throw on the free spirited. I don't know about the wings this though. Includes an item that cannot be used. Kinda like this one.
Purchase complete. You can receive purchased products from the gift box. You made a tuxedo cat. Purchase complete. You can receive purchased products from the gift box. That is funny. It's a pretty cool too. Mount. Let me get a cool mount too. Ooh, they got wingsuits too. Purchase Don't mind if I do. You can receive purchased products from the gift box. Hoverboard. Fire mount. Yanka. Blind crimson. Purchase complete. You can receive purchased products from the gift box. So we got 8,000 left still. This product includes an item that cannot be used. Where's the, um, okay, so these are back, movement, gesture, dance, footprint. Glide. Glide effect, dart nightmare, and your effects. OG. Sticker. I'm gonna try this, whatever that is. Purchase complete. You can receive purchased products from the gift box. Print blazing. Purchase complete. You can receive purchased products from the gift box. Okay. <clears throat> they give you a lot. Jeez. This is definitely where they're like, all right, let's see how much people spend. Like, are they going to spend all 18,000 or whatever it is? Or will they only spend a little? This is definitely their test. This product includes an huh. item that cannot be used. Uh, where is loyalty? During luminous battles, luminous decoration. By ten. So that'll purchase let me recolor complete. stuff. You can receive purchased products from the gift box. <laughs> All right, let's see. So now if we get a gift box. Open all these blazing, blazing. Yeah, items. Throw this one down there. Then let's see. gestures and effects were registered so now i leave blazing footprints that's cool interesting the light effect gestures and effects were registered ah that's what that does Okay, I see that now. We've got that. We're going to take this. Yes.
HTML backpack. Uh, Yara. Nippling cooldown. Oh, it gives you a random effect. So if you get like four of them, you can fuse them together and you get random different effects from them. So now if I go to... I mean, hey, we got this stuff, so we might as well use it. It's actually kind of cool too. I mean... What was that? Count refined... Equipment enhancement. Okay. Bag of gold. Bag of gold. Bag of gold. Sell for a fair price. What sort? Style, style editor. Now for these, can we actually change the coloring of them i wonder cannot destroy this item will be saved in key items to tab in your inventory bound decorating available okay that does say decorating available So I wanted to see like the feet thing. That looks cool. Uh Okay, so decoration, decorate. Right here. Okay, so you can actually do different patterns. Decorate. Go back to this again. Equipment is already equipped in the decoration preview window. Does this work? Somebody explain. Uh... There we go. Okay, so you can't do those slots, but you can do these. I see, I see. The pattern color. that look like is red decorate wait what said that i had enough hold up wait a minute what are you saying ah
first. Require tokens, five. So if I go black there, yes. Red. What happens if I do it to this? Black. Maybe it doesn't look great. Oh God. <laughs> uh, are these the shoes that I'm looking at here too? Okay, you know what? I don't think that's a good idea. I think that's good. I think we should just leave it as is with the gold. Oh wait, what other uh, walking effects do we have? footprint frosty nature trail of darkness trail of light is a trail of darkness purchase complete you can receive purchased products from the gift box <laughs> you can actually put them on there okay You could put what? Oh my god. These are stickers that go on your face. Crying. Oh my god, dude. That is interesting. Alright, where's the tuxedo cat? What if I buy three more? Four more, right? Because I think if you infuse them, plus two thousand. You can receive purchased products from the gift box. Now, if we go here, retrieve or receive. Just spending like thirty minutes messing around with their most likely microtransaction store. Oh, this actually tells you what stuff you have available for today: dungeon reward, laurel. Wreath. New gestures and effects were registered. so you can actually name them too all right so if we go to this one fuse take this gentle kitty fuse and fuse oh god i see now Ah, uh, you need a fuse and then fuse again. Jeez. All right, well, we have the other ones here, so let's use these two. Now, if we fuse this one with the new one that we just got, fuse. Now it's a two star. Then now we can take this one and fuse it with this one. It'll make it a three star. But now we need another three star to get another to make it a four star. Oh, but it actually puts it in a tuxedo. That's funny. So it actually gives other uh, stuff to it. So then we could do this one to that one 
So AP increase, discount shop prices, and decreased nibbling cooldown. And it actually has a tuxedo. All right, whatever. Roger, roger. Yo, 12 Bravo Gaming, thank you for the follow there. How you doing? Good, but how are you? I'm doing pretty good. Just checking out this Elyon game, which is, uh, it's been interesting so far. It's cool though. I would say it's, uh, curious to see. Oh. <laughs> Yo, Veda, thank you very much, man. How, how are you doing? How was your stream? What were you playing? How are you? Thank you for the uh, raid there, man. I saw, it's funny, I actually saw, as I was getting on earlier today, I saw you were playing uh, Fallout 76 with mods? Or no, not 76, New Vegas. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. Let's see what's written here. Stream was really good, played Fallout New Vegas. Nice. How was that? Oh, go back to the I'm guessing it was good if you said your stream was good. So I'm guessing that was good. <laughs> Thank you very much for the raid though. I appreciate that. Come to where I am. Oh, this whole area was locked with characters. Because I didn't <laughs> do the mission yet. I was like, this area is pretty dead right now. Are you surprised to see me? Don't worry. I'll say what I need to and go. Fingers are really the manor cold. wall in the west is the result of a chain reaction that began when you crash landed to hearth while in possession of the Sephiroth's power. Well, I have almost 700 yes. hours on the this game, so you might know how much Sephiroth I like the game. Go, we will be go to the tent in the village. Sheesh. The senior knight would like to see you there as well. That's crazy. It's a great game, though. I've been one. I. One day, and I don't know when, but one day I will do another you too? playthrough of my wishes I'll let the Fallout games, and seven, including 76. Ah, I see this person. Saw that there's uh, stuff out there as well. Uh-huh. Talk to Rahan. Sunset Foothills. I like how it does when you get to this new new areas, it does that. Exploration. I think we got our secondary weapon now. Or maybe we didn't. Death XP scroll. Not really. Com I'm not 100% on understanding the whole death uh, and scrolls thing. So. Wait, minus 19? Why do we have minus 19? Wait, what? What happened? Huh? Wait, why do we have... I'm so impressed with Elyon. Can't wait for September 29th release. Really? You like it a lot? I'm, that's actually good to hear. I haven't heard like I haven't really heard any feedback yet, so I was like curious. Um, but I'm glad that makes me more. I'm I'm enjoying it so far. I mean, there's a lot going on here, but I uh, so far like I feel like with time and everything, I it's pretty cool. Just pre-order the game. Okay, nice. Are you eating well at least? Um. I'm still like trying to go through the motions and understand a lot of it though. It is neat though. I've I've enjoyed it so far. Nice item link, bad. divide items. So I guess you use that when you die. Uh why was so why is it 
I'm not skill points. Remove skill attributes you won't be using. Is it because I equipped new equipment? That they don't have any rune stones on them? Inventory. Increase skill points and that. That's why. Secondary weapon, main weapon. Try putting it on the secondary weapon. You called me, did you? Awakening rune stone. Rune stone. This game was way different than Swords and Legends Online, the one I'm playing right now. Okay, how's that? How's that? Yeah. How is that so far? Because I I've seen that a few times, um, and I've been interested in checking it out, but I haven't yet. Or anything so I know that one is uh, it, I mean it looks cool so far so I was curious about that one actually All right, I'm just gonna slot a lot of these so this one increases skill attributes Attributes, attributes. I'll throw on one of these. And equip that type. Does it tell you what type of runes it can assault? Okay. Attributes. I like how I love how it gives you the percentages of this, like what people actually use. I think that's a really cool feature. So you can kind of know, like, it kind of helps you decide what to use. Okay, so can we actually? Do we? Does this mean that we have it equipped? How do I remove that? Because I'm not even using this ability right now. Reset skill attributes. Okay, there we go. So let's see 14%, 8, 8, 18%. Go through percentages here. So yeah, definitely that one. Uh, mainly looking at PBE. Eighteen percent use this. I could take that too. Why does that get locked in? Oh. Does that mean if I got, wait, hold up. Does that mean if I take this one? No. Why does that automatically get locked in then? It's automatically green. I'm not sure. Whoa, that's crazy. 30, you get two whole areas. That one looks pretty cool. You can only do one or the other. I'm going to do that too. Save. Uh, what is skill attribute points? So, um, basically, I guess, I don't know if it's depending on your gear and stuff, but pretty much so these are your, when you're, the higher skill attribute points go, which skill rate, uh, reset it. Okay, wow, they, they reset every day. 
That's pretty cool. The percentages show you the percentage of other people using them. Uh, so from my understanding is your weapons and your equipment and abilities and all of that, it increases your skill attribute points, uh, which then you come in here and these are all the skills. Like every single one of these are skills that you unlock. But then after you unlock them, all of these, there's four rows. You use those points. So right now I have 42 and you can fill in and select which ones. So these are the uncommon ones. These are rare. And then these are epic. So obviously the epic skills are going to be the best but you have to manage which ones you want the most. So like you can always have these skills equipped like in your bars down here. But then when you select one, like I am using, this is the right mouse button. It enables me to use the ability while I'm moving. So if I untoggle that, now I have 20 extra points and then say if, okay, I don't want that. Now I can go over here and equip this one, which uh change a snare to an electric snare and it gives you like a little image to the right so even though there's like 40 abilities or it, it looks like 40 abilities like there's so much customization within them so yeah it, it looks like you unlock that uh you unlock skill points and stuff and then it just like customizes your skills more so to you. But that's what it seems like. That's how I'm taking it. And now we will continue. Going this way. There's also a nice auto run, which is pretty cool. I haven't used this new mount yet. <laughs> yeah, you can auto travel too, which is nice. Um, right now they they're giving a I guess they're giving away like free mounts and or like free currency for their uh, cosmetic store or their microtransaction store to see what people use on. That's my guess. Um, so that's how I just got like, that's actually how I'm wearing this outfit that I'm wearing. And then also the uh, mount that I have. You can't your What's your level right now? My character is, I believe it's that number. Uh, well, actually, you guys can't see it because I'm sitting in front of it. Uh, 26 right now. And I am playing as the, uh, the gunner class. you're too far. I know, it's already Sunday. <laughs> it goes so fast, right? How is uh so how do how do you like uh sorts of uh legends online? That's one of those games that I've been interested in for a bit now. Um, I keep looking at the pictures and everything on uh, Steam. Love it. Okay. Is there any like other MMO you could compare it to? Combat's great. You can't use skills. You 
You can't use this item compared to this game. Okay, I can see that. It definitely has like a similar like art style and stuff. Do you see like a lot of players and things like that uh, while playing it? Is there like community and like, uh, I don't know, community events with other people too? Or dungeons, use all that fun stuff. I've, I've looked into it uh, like two or three times now, but I just haven't like, I know it's 40 bucks, so. You can use your mount to fly. Okay. There is a, um, there's a glider technique with this. As you can see right there. Um, but I haven't had a use for that just yet. Here. That person's name is eight 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 eight. eight, eight. Very unique. Are you using mouse to attack? Yeah. So left click. Left click is uh it's uh, my ability is trying to lock on. Uh, this is left click. This is right click. The right click ability is a lot more powerful. But as you can see, it uses a lot of stamina and stuff. Um, then you have your special abilities like that. That's a Q ability. This is E. You again. There, the auto travel. I, I love games that do auto travel. For, especially when you're going so far in like a lot of MMOs. Uh, nowadays, I feel like it's almost essential. Auto run is nice, but like... Auto travel is beautiful. It's like a car driving itself for you, you know? Like, you can literally just sit back and just look at the world and not have to control anything. Item during battle. All right, that's the first time I've actually used this. Glide was canceled ah. due to insufficient stamina. Oh, really? It uses your stamina? Huh. Uh, this is the gunner class. That's pretty cool. You reached your destination. There's definitely another one about the spawn. There it is. Nice. Yeah, there's there are uh, six classes in the game right now. There's uh like a sword fighter, a two-handed like 
uh, wielder or axe wielder or whatever, warhammer um, type thing. There's a mystic, uh, which is like, I think they're healing. There's an assassin class, which is like a rogue class. Um, that's uh and there's gunner I'm trying to think if there's uh elementalist too yeah most of them are dps i think about two of them are like maybe um whoa can't learn this during battle this one looks pretty cool a lot of people use it too Bullet rain, piercing. Which one's the lowest percentage one that I have? Grenade. Splinter. I'm going to replace that. This. I don't know if there is like a traditional like tank class in a way. I know these are like, these are battlefields, which are 3v3. I know this game is very uh, EVP focused too, from my understanding. Level 35. Yeah, all these are level 35. West Laurel Root. Goblin Cave Dungeon. We have word the goblins have become more aggressive. Dungeon, you say? Another new skill? Are you serious? Still, Mine well, planting? I'll be going there myself. Not a lot of people use that for, but PvP they do, which makes sense. New achievements receive. Got a new this see you and that dungeons ah they just hit enter okay uh one second I chill right here for a second. Right here. All right, I'm going to run to the bathroom real quick. So I will be right back and then we'll go ahead and continue here. So BRB.